We had a lovely garden before the house was built. We took out what we could. We had to take it all out. Plenty more of you in the uh, weeks and months to come this summer. This is a visioning meeting, and I have to admit I didn't know quite what a visioning meeting was when I created it. Um, so we've had to give it some thought, how are we going to organise it? The plan is this, we want you to think through and come up with a plan of something concrete we can do. We need to do something because there are a number of crises seem to be interacting and coming together here in the island. One of them is that uh, Amalgro has or may be about to um, withdraw their growing of vegetables for the local market. Another is that the co-op have closed down their um, warehouse so that we have fewer and less stocks in the island. If the boat doesn't arrive in the morning with all our imported food, we don't have it coming from anywhere else. But the third crisis that I see is that a number of local organic farmers are really struggling and some of them are literally packing up packing up in the sense of going non-organic or packing up literally in the total sense of, of getting out of farming into something else. That is a tragedy because organic farming is so the way forward. I had somebody ask me earlier today, but surely organic food is just some kind of uh, expensive choice that rich people make and it just doesn't apply to most people. That's such an old argument. The, the counter-argument is simply if we want to feed the world, there's no other way to feed vast numbers of people worldwide other than organic. But the other answer is, if we don't grow our food organically, then we are continuously and deliberately poisoning our land. We're poisoning our soil, and we are killing the microbes, the fungus, and the uh, beneficial insects that will help our soil and our crops to be resilient to disease and everything else but also all these chemicals are leaching through into our water supply and we're all drinking that water also those chemicals are pouring down the streams killing the life in the streams and then ending up in St Oban's Bay where we are getting Frankenstein type growths happening due to the imbalance that they cause in the marine environment so the whole thing is linked, the whole thing is urgent, and the whole thing is important. Organic farming is the only way to really solve all the problems in one go and properly. Everything else is a compromise, and some of those compromises are really too much. But that's a slightly different topic. We're here tonight to talk about food security. With those three interlocking crises I just mentioned, we have a problem with food security, which is growing in the island. Now, I know there's a um, headline in tonight's paper that actually they're, they're, they are doing something, they're forming a cooperative. They've already done something about getting themselves a big grant for a packaging facility. The farmers are getting together and doing things, <coughs> but not really the things that I would personally like to see, and I think a lot of us would have some better ideas as to what we would actually like to see happening. Packaging, you know, it's a lot of plastic and it's not actually, it's not actually the benefit. Cooperative, yes, we love that kind of idea, but uh, what about the organic farmers and why are they going to the wall? So what we need to do tonight, I hope, is to draw on what other transition groups have called the genius of the community, the genius of the general public. We need to get people together, as we have tonight wonderfully with all of you turning up, and we need to somehow or other unlock this genius, this ability that we have when a lot of people are in a room together, we can do anything. We can decide anything, we can plan stuff, we can recruit people, we can join up with other people, we can make new friends. That's what tonight is all about. So I think that if we can manage to get over some hurdles of shyness and, uh, and, and oh, I can't think of anything, we can get quite, um, quite a good thing going tonight, or several good things, I hope. Now, I know there's not enough chairs, and I know that there's not really even enough space in here. We can expand into that room, I think, if we need to. But let me tell you what we're actually going to do. It hinges on these pieces of paper here, and it takes the form of a ideas bazaar, or a open space, 
these are two, two concepts that we can mingle together here. What I'd like people to do is if you have an idea, a half-formed idea or something that you would like to see something more done about, or if you're in the middle of a problem and you'd like some help to get you out of that problem to do with organic farming and food production here in the island, take yourself a piece of paper, take yourself a felt-tip pen and a biro, find yourself a table and write yourself a, a heading or a, um, a signpost on the paper of what it is you'd like to talk about around this table. Everybody else is going to be mingling around, looking and asking, so what's that mean? What's that about? What's, what have you got in mind? And you can start explaining it. If you find that you are getting a crowd around you and that this is taking off and everyone wants to discuss it, people are shipping in with other ideas and it all seems to be gelling together, then you've hit a winner. Then start get collecting people's email addresses, getting people's contact details so that you actually can get in touch with each other and organise this starting tomorrow, next week, and actually do something. <laughs> At the end, if you had an idea that really did gel, first of all, I hope you collected the email addresses or the phone numbers or the contact details of the people who helped you gel it so you can stay in touch and do something tomorrow, next week, and in time for this growing season. And we're not going to do this centrally. You organize it and tell us what you're doing if you want to. If it's a private business that you want to go and set off, then by all means keep it under your hats. Do whatever you feel. If you want to start an aspect of JIT, we can start a JIT group straight away and create a Facebook group and get people around it that way. So do your own uh, planning for the future. And if there isn't a future out of what you're talking about, then it's not going to happen, so it would have been a waste of time. But at the end, be very happy to uh, blue tack up some of the sheets of paper that have by that point been covered in ideas and, and contact numbers, and the person who would like to can come here and tell the whole of the room um, how their idea is going to work and who's involved and how it's all going to fit together. So if you think your idea gelled, tell, me, tell us about it, and we'll give you a little slot at the end where you can tell the whole room about it. But it's just about time to go, so how's that for timing? 20 hundred. At 8 o'clock we're starting, at 9 o'clock we're going to be calling it to a close. So we have an hour. Oh, by the way, do get yourself a drink. Uh, it's our thank you to the pub for letting us use their space. We've completely flooded it out tonight. Do get yourself a drink, whether it's a cup of tea or coffee or a soft drink or whatever you like. And we'll be back in here at 9 o'clock to put the ideas up. Mingle, chat, get to know each other. Politics at this end. Money at that end, uh, practical work out there. Grab yourself paper and pen, and good luck. Thank you for coming, and thank you. Good luck for what you're going to do now. Thank you.